So today we're going to be talking about a little package I got from Blue Jar V that I honestly should have done a video about a while ago. But before we get into that, I'd like to thank this video's sponsor, Skillshare. Skillshare is an awesome learning community offering thousands of classes for creatives with classes on illustration, design, photography, video, freelancing, and so many more. And the short focus classes will fit anybody's schedule and anybody's skill level. It's actually curated for like beginner, intermediate, experienced, and so you can jump in at any skill level and improve these skills. Now there's a lot of fun how-tos here on YouTube, but if you've ever thought about the best way of actually making those how-to videos, that's what I'm exploring on Skillshare right now. I recently started a course on Skillshare on how to edit a good how-to video, a video I'm hoping to put out later this week, maybe next week, we'll see. But don't judge me too harshly on it, I'm still learning. Many of the subjects I'm asked about on a daily basis about starting a YouTube channel are actually answered much better on Skillshare. Way better than I could ever answer them with voices that have way more experience than I do. Because it's curated specifically for learning, there are no ads and they're always adding new premium classes so you can stay focused and follow wherever your creativity takes you. And the first 1,000 of my subscribers to click the link in the description will receive a free trial premium membership thank you to skillshare for sponsoring this video so i've had this thing from bouge rv for a while and because i was in a transition between vehicles namely from the chevy van to the box van and there was a lot going on i really didn't have a chance to open it now i feel really bad because i should have reviewed this thing a long time ago or at least taken it out of the box as you can see i opened the box and kind of looked at it and then closed it and after that it be kind of became a mickey scratching post <laughs> um and has achieved a lot of rough destruction since then i actually have a way to use this which i didn't I also was like, it really doesn't have a good application for me right now. And honestly, there was a part of me that would regretted agreeing to review it in the first place. So probably the title of this vid 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 video already told you what this is, but I'm going to show it to you right now. I kind of know what this is, but I never took a hardcore look at it. This is a 20 watt hard solar panel. There's not really a good reason to wire this to anything I already have set up. Like it really wouldn't provide me any benefit. And it's only 20 watts, so it's super small. But it's really nice quality if you do have use for a 20 watt panel. These are for the bracket connectors, I think. We'll see what that assembly is like when I get it out of the box. So there's your panel. Nice little panel, really small. Move that to the side. Actually not. So this panel has these little SAE connectors, which are one of the more common connectors, but you can actually do a lot with these. Um, there's a lot of ways you could actually use this if you were in an off-grid situation to keep your engine battery charged up without actually having to run the engine because you could use a connector directly to the battery and use this to keep Every time the sun was on, you get a little bit of a trickle charge to your battery. So something like this could be really, really cool for that. Um, sometimes we get so caught up in like the big solar arrays on the top of our roofs, we don't really think about stuff like that. And a lot of the accessories that you can get to hook up to a battery have things that can connect to this SAE connector. So that's kind of cool. Let's see what else we have in this box. The wind is trying to take this away. So we have our little itty bitty user manual here. Not much in it. Let me see, just, yeah, general information. Doesn't really tell you how to assemble this little assembly here that you need to do. A lot here to do that. So you got like your hardware. Let's not lose this. As you can see, you have a little angle, angleable stand, but it doesn't really tell you how to put that stand together so we're gonna open everything up and see if we can figure it out let's put this on top of there then you have ways to connect to the battery like I said you could use this to get a trickle charge to your engine battery if you wanted to so you have a couple of alligator clips these are actually really nice quality alligator clips I kind of like them 
and they go to an SAE connector so you could just hook this directly up to the panel and then you could connect these directly to your car battery and then use this SAE connector to plug into your panel here so you have a couple of choices to make that happen Let's put these back in the bag because the wind is blowing and it will try to blow them away. Now the grand question is, is it fairly obvious how to put this thing together as far as the, the angle bracket thing? Ugh. I don't want my trash in there. It is not obvious at all. Okay, yes it is. Okay, so you're gonna do this. Is it set at a permanent angle? It looks like it is. Well, that sucks. Okay, this is fairly obvious. I thought it was gonna be able to go flat though and it looks like it doesn't. It always sits at an angle. So I'd be really, really reluctant to mount this if it doesn't go fully flat at any point. It's just different versions of an angle. All right, good to know. Let's try putting it together. So here we are, the 20 watt little Bujari V panel with a little stand thing here. Now in the picture, I did assume this was something that could go up and down, but in order to take it not even fully flat, you have to actually take this bolt out and reset it and then screw the bolt back in. There's also additional hardware for a different kind of setup, I assume. Um, this looks like something that could like go in drywall or something like that. Yeah, it's when you'd have to do an inset screw. So you have some extra stuff here. It does come with a little wrench, some washers, and a Allen key that matches the type of bolt that you have. So that's a little panel right there. 20 little watts. But what can we do to test this? Well, there's something else that I bought for the box truck fairly recently because I decided I want to do something kind of different with my battery setup. Didn't originally intend it. At first, I was going to run completely and entirely off of a power station. And what I found, if I can get this solar panel to sit here and not fall, it's good. Um, what I found is that um, that could get kind of annoying when I get to the point of 
wiring lights and just having my fans always set up. So I said it'd be nice if I had a very, very, very small power bank that was just for my whole household systems. Namely, what I mean is that my lights would always work in the back and my fans would always work in the back. And something that's just dedicated to that, something that's not on all the time, doesn't need to be really, really big. So I went on Amazon and I found me a nice, cheap little let's get it out of the box lifepo battery which is going to be an excellent item to use for this little test situation let's get them out of the box and i did need something really really big i wasn't trying to have all the power forever the jackeries can handle Probably the fridges most of the time. I would like a system that I could switch the fridges to sometimes. Um, it can handle, you know, my laptop, all that other kind of stuff. But if I had something that just was always hooked to a house system that was responsible for like the lights and the fan and could handle the fridges on occasion whenever I maybe wanted to just take advantage of the portability of the Jackery or maybe even take it to a friend's house to charge, that would be great. And so I got this 24 amp hour LifePo battery off of Amazon. It was a fairly cheap one. I didn't see a reason to spend a lot of money, but I didn't want to go ahead and get lithium. Eventually, I will have a connection between this and under the hood. That is my long-term plan. But for now, we're just going to use this to test this little panel. Now, I did end up setting up the panel with the battery but i didn't have the charge controller yet i had ordered it it hadn't come and i was like you know what i'm just going to connect it directly to the battery but the problem is i cannot tell if this is charging anything like i just can't tell so it's pretty much a pointless setup so we're going to circle back to this in my next video that how-to video i was talking about and i'm going to use this battery the charge controller that's coming in the mail and this little tiny panel to talk through simple solar in a way I can't when I'm actually installing solar. Um, I'm gonna approach it really simple, -y, really elementary, and I hope you guys will be around for that next video. So now it's time for YouTube business. You know, that's the part where I tell you that one, you should watch this video till the end because that actually counts. I know I basically have a credit scroll. A lot of people are probably going to cut it off before that's done. But also liking underneath this video and leaving comments and subscribing to the channel. They all help the channel continue to grow. It allows me to exist <laughs> here on YouTube or when you do those things and it it's just important. All that stuff is important to YouTube growth, to the channel growing, uh, to me having more ability to do more things. So if you can just do those simple things, watching videos all the way till the end, liking, if you're not subscribed, hey, subscribe. But if you don't like the channel and you're just not into it, it's okay not to subscribe. Or if you're not quite sure about me yet, it's okay not to subscribe. As always, thank you to my patreon and youtube membership supporters um i i don't even know how to spread my appreciation to you to your for your continued support and i look forward to seeing everyone the subscribe the unsubscribe the patrons and the non-patrons and the non-membership members and the membership members i look forward to all of you coming back for that next video see you soon